Hey guys, welcome to the part 2 of Raspberry Pi Torrent Download Box project. So in this video, I will go through the parts that we will be, we will be using in this project and how to set up your Raspberry Pi for the first use. Right now I have the parts right beside me and I will show you guys the parts that we are going to use in this project one by one. So the first of all, we will be needing a Raspberry Pi and in this case I am using a Raspberry Pi model 2B with 1 gigs of RAM and this is the main part of this project. Without this, without this I would have nothing to begin with with this project. And we will be needing a case to keep the Raspberry clean, Raspberry Pi clean. Also a micro SD card. But keep in mind, you will be needing with a minimum 8 gigs of memory as a boot device for the Raspberry Pi. We will be also needing a micro USB power cable. Any cable should do fine, but keep in mind, it should be with an output of minimum with an output of 2 amps to power the Raspberry Pi. We will also need a LAN cable to connect the Raspberry Pi to the internet. We will be needing an HDMI to DVI cable to connect your Raspberry Pi to your monitor. Now if your monitor supports an HDMI input then you guys can go straight ahead pick and use my I mean HDMI cable and connect your Raspberry Pi to your monitor and you're done. But if you guys <coughs> Are like me when your monitor only supports a DVI input so you guys have to get a HDMI to a DVI cable but for some of you guys whose monitor only supports VGA input then you guys are gonna need an HDMI to a VGA cable and last but not least we will need a portable USB hard drive in this project I will be using a 500 gig Toshiba hard drive to store all my completed torrent download files so now we have got all the parts figured out and now let's go to the part where we set up our Raspberry Pi for its first time use. Okay guys so the first step in order to build our 24 7 torrent downloading server using Raspberry Pi we gotta, we gotta first flash a SD card. So in order to do that we need to install Windows 32 disk imager. The link will be provided in the description so after you guys have installed windows 32 disk imager you guys have to install sorry download raspbian vz os from raspberrypi.org's official website link to this website will be also provided in the description so you guys can either download it as a torrent or direct download it so it will be in a zip file format and make sure to extract it to your desktop i have already already extracted mine so here it is and here's the disk image okay so click on windows 32 disk imager and after it has launched go to you guy go to your disk image file in this case desktop raspbian vz and here's the disk image file and click open now the windows 32 disk image will automatically locate your sd card so in this case it is f so let's double check it okay so here's my sd card and f okay so it is correctly been located now click right click yes now it's gonna take a while so let's wait until it finishes okay so the image has been successfully written to the SD card okay now it's done now let's move to the part where we install our SD card into our Raspberry Pi and boot it up for the first time 
Okay guys, so here's my Raspberry Pi. So first, insert your micro SD card and then connect your Ethernet cable, your keyboard and mouse but do not connect your hard drive first. We will be doing that later in this video series. And then, you must connect your USB power plug lastly. Okay, it's because once it you connect the USB power cable to the Raspberry Pi, it will immediately boot up. So do that lastly. So once you have all connected properly, make sure to connect your HDMI to DVI cable. I didn't connect mine because I already have set up my Raspberry Pi to be remotely controlled by my PC. So that's it. Then let's begin. And then it will boot up. It will boot up in a let's say it's like a debug mode and once it has finished booting it will come to this the raspberry pi software configuration tool now i'm running this in the tight vnc server but when you guys install it for the first time it will be in full screen of the monitor you're using so the first stop the first step we will be doing is expand the file system what this will do is it will enable us to access the entire SD card so that we have we would have plenty of storage for future projects so enter select but I won't be doing it again because I've already did all that stuff and I won't bother to go through all the process all over again so make sure to do that expand file system first and the second step is to change your time zone international options change the time zone make sure it is properly selected to your local time zone and then we have to enable SSH to do this go to number 8 advanced options go to SSH A4 SSH click this then click enable okay done SSH server enabled and then go to number three enable boot to desktop blah 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 enter and then select desktop login as user pi at the graphical desktop select this okay and then last but not least update your raspberry pi Go to advanced option a zero update and then select this to update this tool okay once it has finished upda updating it will reboot and once it reboot it will boot into this raspberry pi graphical user interface if i've changed the wallpaper a bit so it's plain white here but you guys will have a raspberry pi logo in the center and once you have finished doing all that stuff we have one last step and that is click here LX terminal and then type in this comment sudo apt get update space and and space sudo apt get upgrade sorry upgrade now what this will do is it will make sure this raspberry pi is up to date okay and that's it guys the raspberry pi is up and running so thanks for watching Leave a thumbs up below if you like this video and subscribe for more of this Raspberry Pi 24-7 torrent download box server or machine, whichever you like to call it. Bye guys, see you guys in the next video.